and I said to the boss, because I'd never worked in online marketing, I said, what's the best client that you can get in online marketing? And he's like, well, the, the best clients that pay the most, that are the easiest to deal with are plastic surgeons. He goes, they always need new clients. They don't know anything about marketing. And I was like, perfect. That's who I'm targeting in Melbourne. And so I'd make a list of all of the plastic surgeons, all the big ones, and I go and knock on all their doors. I go to like, drive down Chapel Street and like, there's this, there's this thing that surgery clinics have called a practice manager. And their job is to stop people like me speaking to the surgeon. <laughs> and so it wasn't very successful. And I thought, I'll try calling them. Couldn't get past the practice manager again. I said, these practice managers are really difficult. And it was around about the time I'd started my LinkedIn profile. And there was a photograph of me in a nightclub in Thailand going like this. Right? And I thought, I wonder if these guys are on here. Because I, I searched Surgeon Melbourne, did a search, and th there's all these profiles. And I thought, well, I'll just send them a connect see what happens, connection request. And so I s contacted 10 surgeons. I got six uh, phone calls, four meetings, and one sale. But when I went to the sales meeting in my first month working for this company, and everyone's sharing their sales for the month, it's going around the room and it's a bit like this. Like one guy's got like seven deals and it equates to like $8,000 in revenue. Another guy's got like 12 deals and it equates to $15,000. I was like, I only got one deal, but it was a $25,000 sale. Because it's a, it was an ideal client. That's what the boss said, well, they were the best. So when you get leads from like a website, you can't really decide whether it's somebody with a $500 budget or a $30,000 budget. You know they have the need. They're looking for a solution. You know that. But you, don't, you can't really be extremely specific. And so this guy, you know, doing um, office fit-outs and stuff like that, he was getting a lot, like, lit traffic to his websites, but they, a lot of them weren't relevant. They weren't people he could work with. So we, as soon as it goes on LinkedIn, it could be extremely targeted, but you don't, know, you don't know if they have the need yet. They're not searching for what you do. That's the difference. So it's extremely targeted, A-grade clients, but you've just got to approach them in a way that's higher up the customer journey so you can ask them the questions to see if they've got the problem you solve. And if they don't have the problem you solve, you just move on, but you won't have ruined the relationship. So if they, six months later, they have the need, they'll reach out to you on LinkedIn, they're in your network, they'll see your content, boom. These are the statistics for uh, this particular case study. And I got loads of these, I just wanted to show you one today because I think that if you're going to do anything to generate leads immediately, it's the fastest way to do it. It's through connecting and messaging people. So they, uh, we sent 241 requests, invitations out. Team do 50 to 100 connection requests an hour. So it seems like a lot, but you get quite quick at it. And these are customized with their name and everything. So out of those 241, 183 people said, yes, I'll accept the invitation. So you got 75% conversion rate from invitation to new connection. And then they all got the follow-up message. So the connection request, all, all it says is, you know, I've seen we've got some mutual connections. Would you like to connect? 75% of people say yes. Those 183 people that are now part of this client's network, we message them and say, hey, I've noticed you're in this industry. You know, I work with businesses that are similar to yours. Um, I'd like to find out more about what you do. What's your phone number? So 183 messages, 75 leads, 41% of people said, yeah, sure, let's hop on a phone call. And so when he gets on that phone call, all he's doing is saying, so the purpose of this call is to me to find out a little bit more about your business to see if there's an opportunity for us to work together or not. Is that okay? And the guy's like, okay, yeah, sure. And so all he's doing is just asking the questions that will uncover whether or not there's a need there. And if there is a need, he said, he asked for permission, permission to pitch to him. So he says, would you like to know, would you like to know how I can help you with that? If you, if you do it like that, you won't piss anyone off. People will say no at some time. Sometimes, sometimes people will say, no, I don't want to have a phone call. You say, okay, thank you. You haven't pissed anyone off. You get on the phone call. Would you like to know more about how I can help you with that? No, thank you. Okay, have a good day. So th the reason that you don't want to piss people off is so that if they have the need later, they, they, they'll contact you, whereas if you've pitched to them, they won't want, they'll want to stay way clear of you. They'll rather speak to somebody that they haven't met on Google because they don't want to be sold to. No one wants to be sold to. Everybody wants to buy. No one wants to be sold to. So you've got to help people buy and not try and sell to them. 